All week long, the Fork in the Road crew has been searching for the best Wabash Valley chili. And after taste testing the top three you nominated, they've picked a champ. So who gets the sweet plaque Take and those bragging rights? Well, let's find out. Chili. On day one, your votes took us to Charlie's. I'll tell you, chili's been sort of a stable here at Charlie's. Well, really since Lois and Charlie took it over back in the 70s. Yeah. We've kept Lois the same recipe and it's been successful. It's a good Midwest chili. It's not a hot Texas chili. It's not a chili mac with the noodles. It's just a good fill your belly on a cold day. Nice Midwest chili. Then it was off to the Crossroads Cafe. Our chili is best of all seriously meaty and we have lots of beans in our chili. Um, not super, super spicy. Uh, some people will shake a dash or two of uh, Tabasco in the chili, but other than that, it's just good and meaty. On day three, we headed north to Marshall, Indiana, where we found Under the Arch restaurant. It's pretty spicy, and I start out with the black Angus beef, and then I put a lot of dark chili powder in it, and I got a few ingredients I don't really want to tell. <laughs> Well, all three were great, but Under the Arch wins out as the Fork in the Road's best chili in the Wabash Valley. So Under the Arch ranks A number one, so congratulations. Yeah, and you went up against two contenders, Charlie's and Booze Crossroads Cafe. Booze Tough just down contenders. the street. Yeah, very good chili, but Under the Arch is the winner. Congratulations, Mike. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. set it apart? You know, I think it was just the flavor and the spice. I, I think it just kind of, it has a unique flavor, and I think that's what won everybody over. Very good, very good. Now tell us real quick, where are you guys located? For somebody watching right now for the first time, where is Under the Arch? We're in Marshall, Indiana, and okay. it's uh, on 236 up north of Rockville. Very cool, and there truly is really an arch there, right? Oh yeah. 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 It, it's a good place to <laughs> go that's, hang out. Sure. That's where it gets its name. Yeah. And what makes your establishment just a little bit different from some of the others out there? Oh, well, we got just, we got decorated real nice, and people just yep. like the you know, the stuff on the walls, and we have a little bit of something for everybody. Comfortable atmosphere, it yeah. sounds like. Yeah, very You've good. You've got something else to that's add right. to your wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Best like chili it. in the Wabash Eye. Fantastic. I yep. think that's awesome. So congratulations again, Marshall, Thank Indiana. You. That's where a lot of folks need to head. And they brought us some, and I can't wait. It I smells know. fantastic. Mm, I does. know you can't smell it at home, but look at that. I mean, just fantastic <laughs> chili. Now, and this is, there's, are there noodles in this, or is it just straight uh, chili? It's just straight chili. Okay, all right, good deal. I'm, I'm not, trying it. I've not seen the consistency of it yet. <laughs> And Mike, by far your favorite? Yes, yes. Oh, I good. I really liked all three of Very them. Very good. Uh, I liked Charlie's, and I thought it was yeah. great. And it oh. was a toss-up, but it, I just mm. came down to the flavor, like I said, and and it was unanimous. All the judges voted. She told me to try. No, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Go for it. Waiting on Come me on. to try this. <laughs> burn my lip here. We need.